Hello everybody. We're back with another fan art. Yeah. This is a yeah, fantasy setting, fantasy medieval setting type fan art. Yes. So if you want to see more fan art, I mean fan art, more art like this, you know, this is I guess more original since it's not really based on anything. Yeah, so if you want to see more art like this, smash like, and yeah, post comment down below. All right. So I, I, yeah. So for the uh, reference, pretty much I just googled uh, fantasy giant, and I saw a picture of a giant chasing a guy. Well, there's other people in the picture as well, but yeah. I just focused on the giant and the person that's being chased and I decided you know to well obviously modify it a little bit yeah a little bit a lot of it <laughs> yeah so it's a giant ogre well like more like a Greek fantasy ogre I guess where it's more humanoid or yeah not like Shrek ogre where he's green yeah anyway so well is it ogre or ogress <laughs> female ogre I mean really the only feminine feature of this ogre is pretty much the red toenails yes that's about it that's the only thing that identifies it as a female probably yeah so yeah you, you just use your imagination all right, so the ogre is chasing the goblin. Uh, he has an axe, so I don't know if he's a warrior or just you know a goblin civilian villager. You know, maybe he's a lumberjack, a peasant, a farmer, etc. He was just outside, you know, chopping some firewood, and then he saw a giant ogre, ogress, chasing after him. You know, I've always wondered, like, in the fantasy, you know, fantasy medium medias like universes etc you have like giant creatures and beings versus tiny little people you know like doors goblins imps etc quite small halflings hoblets etc how are they supposed to face up against you know giant beings like they're already you know at a disadvantage versus say like humans and orcs and elves right minotaurs etc but then they have to fight, you know, giants, trolls, ogres, etc. I don't know how it's possible. Yeah, so this one, clearly in the giant being's favor, the ogre, ogress. Yeah. Gob, uh, game over for the goblin, pretty much. That's why he's running for his life. He's looking back occasionally to make sure he doesn't see if he can run away. But I don't know, probably not. Yeah. Well, maybe they're just having a friendly race, right? <laughs> we don't want to assume anything, right? Yeah. I did give the goblin uh, guy some musculature. Although, usually, from what I've seen, you know, goblins, they, they're really puny. So he's actually more human-sized, actually, compared to the other fantasy beings. He's, he's probably too tall to be a goblin. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's a hobgoblin? Part goblin? Maybe he's like orc runt? I don't know. But I depict, I imagine him as a goblin. But now I realize his body, you know, his uh, anatomy is more suited for like a human or orc or elf, you know, a uh, taller being. He's supposed to be, he, if he was a goblin, he should be like a, you know, he should be shorter, right? Although, like, it depends on the fantasy universe. Some goblins are similar size to humans. I guess it really depends on your own preferences and, you know, ideas, imaginations. Yeah. But normally I draw goblins smaller than this guy, I guess. But I guess it's all right. Yeah, his torso is a little bit too long, I guess, for typical goblins. All right. As always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.